If you're not updated with the lore of the Tripped Up channel, you might not know that I recently made a short that was a little bit controversial. While many people reciprocated my feelings on the new legend Arcadia, a lot of people also disagreed heavily with what I had to say. So I've decided to issue a formal apology to all of those that I might have offended. I am sorry for trying to convey my opinion of the new legend Arcadia in an exaggerated manner for comedic purposes. While the things I said in my video were true to an extent, I regret to inform you that I was indeed not completely unbiased with my statements. From now on, when I have an op- You know what, this is stupid. Basically what I'm trying to say is, I'm not angry with BMG, okay? And I don't completely despise the new legend, but I do have lots of problems with it, which I'll try and outline here in a much longer video. On a real note though, some of you guys got really upset over my opinion. Like, seriously. Calm down. However, before we dive into the new legend, I do want to talk about the new balance patch. First of all, as I'm sure you've all seen, Axe got nerfed. And for once, that nerf actually did something. It actually made Axe feel like a heavy weapon, which is really good, that's what it's supposed to be like. I do believe it still has some tuning to be done to it, but BMG, round of applause. Thank you so much for this nerf. I'm proud of you. And same thing goes with the hammer balance. It got nerfed as well, a little bit less than Axe, but hey, at the end of the day, it's still a heavy weapon nerf, and therefore, I like it. Honestly, as far as the changes that were made, I don't have much to complain about, as I feel like every balance was actually deserved and really well done. I do have one criticism though, and that is, where in the world is the bow nerf? It has been almost a whole year since a bow nerf and people are still complaining about it. BMG, please, answer our prayers. You did it on Axe, you did it on Hammer, now please, answer our prayers on Bow. But yeah, overall, big W on this patch. Good job, BMG, I like what you're doing. But with all that praise out of the way, it's time for me to start slandering BMG again, because we're talking about Arcadia. Let's start off with her stats. She's a high attack and high dex character, which I'm not sure why Greatsword and Spear needs high dex, but whatever. The two problems I have with her stats are 1. her high attack, which I'll get into why that is later, and 2. her 4 speed, because there is no reason why a fairy should have 4 speed. Think about it man, Tinkerbell, always very fast, but Arcadia, 4 speed, that, that's just not right. Now on to the skins. Now in my short I said I hated all of them, and for the most part that's true. The only thing I do like about the Briar Rose skin is the Greatsword. I do think the Greatsword is really well designed. Otherwise, this is garbage and I won't change my mind on that. I think my main problem with Arcadia's skins, including the base one, is the fact that all of the colors look washed out. Look at these skins. Do you see anything that really catches your eye? For me, the answer is no, because all of these colors look so faded. With the exception of the Briar Rose Greatsword, I can't find anything about these skins that says I want to purchase this, which is why I don't like them. But with that all the way, it's time to analyze her very, very, very not broken sigs. Starting off with her Greatsword Neutral Sig. It's a very fast sig, she just stands there and holds the sword up, kind of like Jala's Neutral Sig, and boom, there's the hitbox. Now, in this form, the Sig hits grounded, which in my short I said was a bad thing, but now looking back on it, I was over-exaggerating. I don't think it's a bad thing, only because it has a second form. If you charge the Sig long enough, Arcadia will jump in the air and basically just give you a longer form of the neutral Sig. The real problem with the Sig for me is the charged version and how much force it has. If you catch someone mid-air with the charged neutral sig, you can kill very early, especially with that high attack, which is a bit of a problem for me. However, I will say that it's not necessarily broken because the charged version does not hit grounded. If it did, this would be a very broken sig. Moving on to the greatsword side sig. Now, without it being charged, this is a very fast slash that comes out with a lot of force behind it. In fact, if you're close enough to the edge, this thing can kill from orange. And while I think this version of the SIG is a little bit overtuned, we haven't talked about the charged version yet. If you charge up the side SIG, it will release this ball that will travel across the stage. And when I say it travels, I mean it travels. 
call it Amelia Earhart because this thing will go across the world before it ends. And honestly, this traveling hitbox feels like static electricity. You don't even have to touch it and it'll hit you anyways. Or at least it feels that way. And don't worry, this thing still carries the amount of force that the original side sig has. So, instead of being thrown into oblivion by a huge sword, you can say you were thrown into oblivion by a ball of energy. Or whatever that is, I don't even know what this is. And then we have the great sword down sig, which is a trap signature. Now, I got clowned on a bit because I called it another trap signature in my short, even though Yumiko's the only other legend that has one. But in my opinion, that's two legends too many. When you use the D-Sig, it spawns this little whirlpool in front of Arcadia, and then if you get hit by it, you get stuck in it, which is why it's called the Trap Signature. Here's the problem, though. The hitbox lasts forever. It may look like the visual is fading away, but the entire hitbox is still there, which makes it even easier to get caught by. Also, if you perform the D-Sig against the wall, it actually changes the hitbox to be more vertical which makes it even easier for you to hit by it if you're off stage. And yes, before you ask, that has happened to me. Alright, now it's time for her spear sigs, starting with the neutral one. <sighs> the end sig on the spear is just like Bren's end sig on the spear, except it's even better. Not only is it a two-part sig, but it has a bigger hitbox. As if it wasn't already good enough. Next is her spear side sig, which I have to say is one of the weirdest sigs I've ever seen. She legitimately spawns a beetle in which she rides with her spear to joust you. What? But of course, her riding that beetle actually has a purpose to it, in which it makes the sig broken. You see, usually when there's a moving signature, such as both of Zul's side sigs, Whenever a player is hit, it uses that exact point of contact to do majority of the force or damage. However, our kitty is, as the kids say, built different. Instead of stopping where she's at when she hits you with the beetle, she's gonna keep going, all the way to the end, and that's when she does the second part of the sig. Basically what this means is, you could be chilling in the middle of the stage, but then hit with her side sig, push to the very edge of the stage, and then hit with a second powerful jab which kills you. That sounds so fair, doesn't it, guys? And finally, we move on to the down sig on the spear. Just like with the greatsword, it's another trap signature with a relatively similar hitbox. And just like the last one, this hitbox lasts forever. If you were to ask me whether I believe that Arcadia's down sigs or the Queen of England were to last longer, I would tell you hands down every day of the week it's Arcadia's down sigs. However, I believe the downsig on the spear to be even worse than the greatsword one. Why is that? Because of the true combos it provides. No matter how much damage your opponent is on, as long as you input it correctly, you can do downsig to recovery true every time. And of course, if they're on lower damage and you can't kill them with the recovery, you can always just chase dodge up and do a nair or string into some other move, which builds even more damage. But this one's the worst one yet. Downsig into GC side sig is true. And while I wasn't able to do it myself, I actually had it done to me in a ranked game. Here, I'll show you. Well, this sucks. Alrighty gamers, we're gonna be playing some Arcadia. As you can see, I've already done a little bit of that, but we're gonna be recording it, so now it counts. And first match, another Arcadia. Why am I not surprised? To be completely clear, I have no clue how to play Great Sword at all, so we're gonna be relying basically on the spear and then Sigs with the Great Sword. Yep. Yep, this is. Wow. This is already ridiculous. <laughs> I feel so bad, but he's playing it too, so he has the exact same chance I do to be annoying. Oh, now I'm gonna struggle because I'm playing great sword. I mean, bad sword. I have no clue how to play this weapon. So let the broken sigs carry me through. So let the broken sigs carry me through. I'm pissed off, man. I mean, what is this? What is this? We, or we both know. This is the only way to win now. Oh my. That sig is ridiculous. Uh, what? Yeah, right back at me. Oh, what? Nah, that's not even funny. 
I see I am so no no stop it. That is just so stupid. I fear no man, but that hitbox it scares me. Wait, see what it lasts forever. It's actually ancient. It lasts years. That's not how that should work. Oh my, I got beetled. Ugh. You know, we had the Munin dunk with uh, Munin's bow side sig, and now we got... You're getting beetled. Get beetled. Alright, who wants to bet this another Arcadia? Look at that, guys. I'm actually god. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to find out if this person's gonna sig spam me too, because that's the only way I know how to play it, so... I'm assuming everyone else is the exact same way. Oh, see, yeah, I, I'm trying to actually play the weapon, and I'm just absolutely buttering it. I'm getting, I'm getting pogoed, like, this is not happy. Oh, oh god, please spare me. See, I told you, this is how everyone plays this character. D d <laughs> what? What even is this? Okay, the double beetle, sweet. Ooh. And he left. Great sword skills, let's go! Ooh. You could say I'm pretty great at the great sword. <coughs> oh, finally. Someone that's not playing this stupid legend. Oh, I'm getting sweated on. Guys, please help me. I'm playing Arcadia, for God's sake. This is literally just use SIGs and hope to win. Yeah, that's right. Don't underestimate. I don't know where I was going with that. Beetle! Yes! Right, let's go. That would've been cool if I hit that double and say, oh god, nope. See, now, he just tried to do it and it didn't work either. You can't do that to me. I just tried to do it to you, can't do it to me. That's reverse psychology. Two wrongs don't make a right. Or, I don't know, whatever they taught me in psychology, I didn't pay attention. And, oh, another disconnect. Alright, let's see John Cena bot. Or bot Tori. Let's see what you got. What? The bot just decided to stop. He was like, I'm getting tortured. I don't I don't get paid enough for this. And now it's time for me to give my final thoughts on Arcadia. The only thing I can find enjoyable about Arcadia is destroying other people with the broken SIGs. And trust me, it's not fun when it happens to you the other way around. I think the flaws of this legend are best defined by a ranked match that I had that I can't show because of replays being broken, but basically I played against a mid-diamond player that just sig spammed on me, and that's not something you should be doing in mid-diamond, but it worked because Arcadia's sigs are just that broken. And it definitely doesn't help that Arcadia has 7 attack, or 8 if you give her the attack stance, which is a really high attack for a character that has such powerful signatures. That's why you see people dying so early when hit by a signature from Arcadia, it's just because of how powerful they are. The way I see it, I believe that BMG tried to balance Arcadia by making her stats bad, but then giving her powerful signatures. But as you can see, that didn't work out too well, hence the title of this video. However, I do want to end this video on a positive note, which is, I'm so glad there's a new Spear Legend. We haven't gotten one since Dusk, and that was years ago. So, thank you for making a new Spear Legend. Just, next time, don't make him broken. Okay, I know this has nothing to do with anything I've talked about in this video, but... I just got disconnected on, and this is what the bot is doing. Why is it doing this? What is happening? Is it- is it having a stroke? Well everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. If you disagree with my take on Arcadia, comment down below what you think about her. Anyways, I'm out of here.